I love where my office is at campus ministry. It overlooks that sidewalk just out in front of Mary between the SBH. I can spend countless hours of procrastinating watching people come and go on that sidewalk. And it's been exciting now that spring has arrived because people have a, a new spring to their step. They're no longer hunkered down, per se. It's wonderful to see new life in the people walking on campus. However, there is a converse to this example as well. As I watch out my window, I can see many people too distracted, too busy, too afraid, too divided to get to know their neighbor. Often this is done as they look at their machine, huh? Glued to it. I think the same thing happens on the link and in our dorm rooms and in our classes. We fail to get to know the people who are around us, who we live with. We rarely take time to get to know each other. That's why it's so wonderful to look out the window and find that odd couple who just happen to be engaged in a live conversation. How different, then, is the relationship between the Good Shepherd and the sheep? That Good Shepherd is always striving to know the entire flock. Just think back to some of the text from the Gospel we just heard. I know mine, and mine know me. I have other sheep that do not belong to the fold, and yet I'm committed to finding unity with them. A shepherd who is in such relationship with each one of us that he's willing to lay down his life so that all of us may share in life eternal. Might we reflect just a glimmer of that incredible relationship? Often we look to Pope Francis, right, as a great example of a good shepherd in our church. He's a shepherd with the smell of his sheep, to use his own words. If you follow Catholic social media, you might have noticed a wonderful video this week. Pope Francis was making an appearance at a school, I think it was in Rome. He's sitting on a chair, probably a distance away from these children, and they have the opportunity to ask the Pope a question. One little boy, Emmanuel, comes up to the microphone, and he clams up when he gets there. Initially, a, a priest comes over and kind of encourages them on. And then little Emmanuel starts to choke up. Pope Francis says, Veni! Veni, Emmanuel! Come! Come close to me! The security guards, of course, are a little standoffish. It's just a boy. Veni! Come! And as the boy starts to sob, Pope Francis takes him in his big old arms and hugs him. Tears running onto his white robes, huh? If you watch a full-length video, this is an incredible moment because it's not short. Pope Francis just holds him while he cries. An incredible moment of I know you and you know me. Then he says, Whisper into my ear what you have to say. So the little boy, wiping tears from his eyes, mutters to the Pope. The Pope mutters back quietly, hugs him again, 
pats his head and sends him on his way. Once the boy's gone back to his chair, incredibly the child next to him kind of pats him on the back. It'll be okay, huh? And Pope Francis says, Emmanuel gave me permission to tell you his question. What Emmanuel wanted to know is if his father, who wasn't a practicing Christian, but had had all four of his children baptized, would go to heaven. Because Emmanuel's dad had recently died. Pope Francis smiles, and he says, Do you think God has a father's heart? Has a dad's heart? People nodded. Does God abandon his children? People sheepishly said no. And then he asked it again like we did at the beginning. Does God abandon his children? And they responded no. As a good shepherd, Pope Francis was right there for Emmanuel, willing to listen to his concerns be present to a broken heart and offer him the love and compassion which is our Christian faith, which is the way of the Good Shepherd. Something for all of us to strive for. So this week, might all of us take time to explore the relationships that we have on campus, those we know and those unknown, Might we set down our devices and share a conversation with the person on the link or the person in line at the coffee shop? Find someone after Mass that you don't know and say, can we go on a walk in this beautiful weather? Be good sheep as we strive to be good shepherds. Let us frolic in the new life offered by Jesus who gives up his life so that we might all have life. Let us together be good sheep.